viewers, welcome to the domestic news update on top accolade news. The headlines. On those state youth protests at INEC headquarters. Dangote claims refinery ready to supply Nigeria. Nigeria's economic growth projected at 3.5% by 2025. Biden commends President Tinubu for securing release of Binance executive. In politics, Ondo State Youth protest at INEC headquarters. Hundreds of youth from Ondo State stage a protest at the Independent National Electoral Commission headquarters in Abuja, demanding the immediate redeployment of resident electoral commissioner Oluwatu Ibabalola ahead of the next month governorship election. Organized under the banner of the Ondo Youth League, the protesters called for credible and transparent elections, citing concerns about Babalola's impartiality and alleged political affiliations. During the protest, INEC National Commissioner A.C. Akali assured the crowd that their petition will be addressed, emphasizing the Commission's commitment to conducting free and fair elections. Shifting focus to economy, Dangote claims refinery ready to supply Nigeria. Ali Kodangote, the founder of Dangote Group, announced that his refinery holds over 500 million liters of petrol, sufficient to meet Nigeria's needs if retailers opt to source from him. Speaking in Abuja, Dangote criticized both the state-owned Nigerian National Petroleum Company and private retailers for continuing to import fuel despite his refinery's capacity to produce. He emphasized that the responsibility for distribution lies with retailers, urging them to come collect the product to alleviate the ongoing scarcity at filling stations. With the refinery's ability to produce 30 million liters daily, he assured that they are ready to supply the market and expressed frustration over the cost incurred from holding such a large stock. Still in economy, Nigeria's economic growth projected at 3.5% by 2025. A recent report by BMI, part of Fitch Solutions, forecast Nigeria's economic growth to reach 3.5% by 2025, despite ongoing challenges such as weak foreign direct investment and declining oil outputs. The report highlights concerns over underinvestment and oil theft, which are expected to hinder performance. While inflation is projected to average 20.2% next year, the Central Bank of Nigeria's effort towards monetary stability may support a gradual recovery in domestic demand, shifting from a contraction of 0.2% in 2024 to growth of 3.1% in 2025. Although the Dangote refinery is anticipated to transform Nigeria into a net fuel exporter, the overall economic landscape remains cautious as international investors continue to shy away from tangible assets, casting a shadow on the country's long-term business environment. Now in international news, Biden commends President Tinubu for securing release of Binance executive. President Joe Biden has praised Nigerian President Bola Tinubu for his pivotal role in securing the release of Tigran Gabayan, a Binance executive and U.S. citizen who had been detained in Nigeria since February. During a recent phone call, Biden expressed gratitude for Tinubu's humanitarian efforts and highlighted the establishment of a bilateral liaison group focused on illicit finance and cryptocurrencies. This gesture followed the Nigerian government's decision to drop money laundering charges against Gabayan, who faced deteriorating health while in custody. The case has sparked intense discussions between the U.S. and Nigerian officials, underscoring the importance of international cooperation in law enforcement. You are watching the domestic news update on Top Accolade News. Do stay with us. Still to come. staying with us in environment nigerian government signed cng conversion agreement to lower taxi fares at abuja airport the nigerian government has signed an agreement with taxi operators at Nnamdi azikiwe international airport to convert their vehicles to compressed natural gas 
This initiative announced by Michael Oluwagbemi, Program Director of the Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative, aims to reduce airport transportation fares by 30% once 50% of the fleet, approximately 400 vehicles, have been converted. The program also introduces a red flag system to display fare discounts based on distance. With increased CNG refilling stations and a commitment to safety, this initiative not only promises to alleviate the burden of rising fuel prices, but also aligns with President Bola Tinubu's goal to convert 1 million vehicles to cleaner fuel alternative, paving the way for a more sustainable transportation network in Nigeria. Shifting focus to agriculture, House passes bill to establish defense farm and ranches scheme for food security. The House of Representatives has passed a bill for the Defense Farm and Ranches Scheme during its second reading, sponsored by Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson, Chairman of the House Committee on Defense. The initiative aims to utilize the resources and capabilities of the Nigerian Armed Forces to boost agricultural production and diversify the economy. Honorable Benson highlighted that similar models have successfully operated in countries like the U.S. and Israel and emphasized that this scheme builds on historical military involvement in agriculture. By leveraging military land and manpower, the program seeks to increase food production and support Nigeria's transition away from oil dependency, positioning agriculture as a key driver for economic growth. In entertainment, Mr. Macaroni calls out Wiki for disrespectful remarks towards citizens. Nigerian actor and activist Mr. Macaroni has criticized former River State Governor Yesun Wike for disrespectful comments made during a recent address to citizens. Taken to social media, Mr. Macaroni expressed outrage over Wike's tone, emphasizing that public officials must show humility and respect towards the citizens they serve. He reminded politicians that they are accountable to the people who pay their salaries and condemned the arrogance often displayed in public office. Addressing Wiki directly, Mr. Macaroni urged him to treat citizens with dignity, stating, You are a public servant. You are not doing anyone a favor by being minister. His remarks reflect a growing call for accountability and respect from public officials in Nigeria. Now in sports, Amaji Pinik highlights infrastructure issues as key barrier to sport development in Nigeria. Former Nigerian Football Federation President Amaji Pinik has underscored inadequate maintenance as a significant barrier to sport development in Nigeria. Speaking at the University of Ibadan, Pinik's lecture titled The Challenges of Sport Infrastructure and Maintenance in Nigeria prospect of the podium performance emphasized the urgent need for improved sports facilities to support the nation's talented athletes. He criticized Nigeria's inability to host FIFA competitions due to substandard stadiums like the Gosuila Pavio Stadium, which lacked essential features for revenue generation. Pinnick called for collaboration between the federal and state governments and sport administrators to renovate existing facilities, expressing optimism about the revival of the National Sports Commission under President Bola Tinubu's administration. That concludes our domestic news update for today. Stay tuned for more domestic news and development. Thanks for joining us. I am Okocha Ojarumi. Connect and engage with us on all our social media handles. Do have a wonderful day.